Howdy folks, wanted to do a quick video about uh, batch renaming files in Windows using regular expressions. Now, the backstory to this is that I received a zip file of pictures for products that we sell on an e-commerce site. And the file names for those products included the part numbers, which is what I want. But those part numbers were preceded with HW and they were appended with a dash character so I want the actual characters that are in between the HW and the dash and what better way to uh, perform the magic and rename a bunch of files than with regular expressions so I'll scroll down here and you can see that pretty much the naming convention that the vendor who gave these images to us had was was that was to append the HW and uh, or prepend the HW and append the dash and there's 3577 items so this would take a long time without the uh, nerd wizardry that is regular expressions. All right, so those have been extracted into this pix folder. Okay, I'm going to create a new pix renamed folder. And then, ooh. So when I was originally uh, uh, embarking on this, this task of renaming all these files, um, I went looking for a utility that would essentially um, make, make the process a little less painful. So I came upon uh, a tool called Regex Renamer, just Google Regex Renamer. And it essentially just provides a GUI for everything but the regular expression you're using, which for me is, is nice. It saves a little bit of time. So uh, let's go ahead and fire up Regex Renamer. Um, let's look at our PIX directory. And we can see the file name and then a preview, which is really nice. Um, I'm going to make sure that before I start doing this, I say copy to, and I'm going to copy to Pix renamed. All right. And then we'll put our, uh, our regular expression, our match, and then our replace. So we said it's going to start with the characters HW, but I'll just be a little bit more thorough and put a A to Z. And then there's going to be two of those, I know. And you can see it over here, the live preview updating, which, again, is really nice. Uh, our first capture group is just going to be dot .star. Uh, and then we said it ends with a dash character. Uh, yep, and then, whoops, dash, and then dot. JPG. I know they're all JPEGs. Uh, and I'm going to need that to be a capture group. All right. So, next thing we're going to do is say, I want the first capture group and the next capture group. So, we can see our file name right here. Uh, and then our preview of what the regular expression is going to uh, copy and, and those those files over to our new Pix renamed directory. Um, obviously, if you're watching this and you found this and you're looking, Googling for batch renaming files in Windows or something like that, this is predicated uh, upon uh, your knowledge of regular expressions. Now, if you don't know how to use regular expressions, I, I strongly advise you to... Uh, at least develop um, a beginner level understanding of them. I'm by no means an expert, but as you can see right here, with a little bit of knowledge, you can save yourself so much time uh, with tasks like this that, that otherwise are just menial drone work to accomplish. So uh, with that, now that I can see that they're good and they look good all the way down, I'm going to go ahead and rename them. Remember, we have about 35 ish hundred images uh let's go on our pics renamed there we go stack this up next to our pics directory and we can see that all of these have been renamed just like we wanted them to lastly one more little tidbit uh is i have a little script that's pretty handy here a lot of times what i'll want now is to get these uh, image files into an excel spreadsheet so i know what all the file names are uh, for the contents of this directory 
and that can also be automated too. So I'm gonna I'm gonna throw this little script in here that I created, and I'll put this on the uh, blog post uh, so that you can download it as well. It's really handy. I'll just double click it to run it, and we'll scroll to the top. Actually, let's do this. Sort by type. There we go, and we can see here. that all of our images have been added to this spreadsheet. Pretty useful stuff here, folks, pretty useful. And that is it for this screencast. Thanks for watching.